G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, in that last video, I reviewed the Hilda 400 watt rotary tool. Great unit, came up really well. It's got a quarter inch chuck, and it means it can take quarter inch uh, shanked, six mil, in other words, shanked um, accessories. Now, they give you three mil stuff, which is Dremel size stuff. That's fine, it handles the Dremel stuff great, it can do a good job with that. But you can only run those tiny little Dremel, you know, cutting discs, the epoxy little things like this, diameter. Whereas I like to run bigger dust, bigger stuff. And as this is basically the equivalent of this, a quarter inch air die grinder, very similar in power output. The 75mm disc that I normally use in this can be used in this. And they're very handy for cutting steel, as you would have seen in the video, for slotting, all sorts of work. Now, great, these 75mm discs are cheap and thin and they, they're overall excellent to use, certainly much better than trying to cut stuff with an angle grinder. Problem is though, they have a 10mm centre and it's very hard, if not impossible, to buy a 6mm uh, shanked arbor with a 10mm centre. You can probably get them, but they're going to cost you big dough. And I did look, and I think I saw something around a hundred buck mark. But these are easy to make, and you can easily make up your own arbor if you've got a metal lathe to allow you to uh, use these discs in this unit. So that's what this video is about. Just a quick look at how to make one of these up, give you an idea, and you may even be able to make one up without a lathe if you've uh, got the right bits and pieces, but. Overall, yeah, a little aid will help you do this, and yeah, let's get on with it.
Okay, job almost done. It's pretty warm in the shed, so I won't go on and show you the, uh, the last bit being machined up, but you'll be able to pick up pretty easily what it's all about. This is the bit you really need to see the design of. And you can see I, I bronzed it on. Now, you could actually get away not bronzing it. You can actually just make up this backing plate, locating plate, and thread it onto the shaft rather than bronze and then just lock tight it and that would work okay too because it's going to get a tighten itself on so yeah you could avoid bronzing i like doing bronzing because it always does a nice neat job and it's uh it's good it's got matte gas or uh, bullfinch torch or oxy or anything bronzing is great fun and you can see i put a recess in the back so that it gets a ring of bronze all the way around as well as the capillary action and on the side um, I've just stepped it out so that you can see how it locates in the, the centre of the disc. That's your 10mm arbor, your 6mm bolt and shaft. So you've kept the size of the thing right down to minimum. And then all we've got then is a washer to go on the outside with a recess centre. And it pulls up on the outside edge of that. This is the same diameter as the bit on the back. goes on. And then, of course, on goes your nut. And I, I like to use a nylon lock nut just to be safe. I don't like using spring washers because they, the, the, the design of the split type spring washers tend to cant things by the nature of the, the way they apply the pressure. So, yep, yeah, use a little nylon lock nut, and I think that'll be better. So that's it. You can see it's. Uh, Dead easy thing to make, and as I said, you don't even have to bronze it. But yeah, if you can bronze well, you can make it lighter and thinner and do a pretty job. So that's it, really, on making this. Down the track in the next video, probably, if um, my request to Banggood comes through, I'll show you how to make one of these from a larger size arbor. Basically, get a 10 mil arbor for something a bigger bigger machine and turn down the spindle turn down the shaft so that it can actually go into a smaller chuck or collet so that's the other approach and yeah stay tuned that'll be coming pretty soon all right getting pretty hot here in the shed so i'll see you next time cheers